Local health officials continue to follow a UK case in which HIV has become indetectable, in a, undetectable rather, in a patient. Health Minister Dr. Sands says it's not necessarily the route patients may want to take here, but officials are looking to eliminate the illness. Even though this is landmark, it is certainly not ready for prime time, and it is certainly not the approach that we would want to take for people, uh, everybody suffering with HIV. But I will say that the Bahamas has make, made the commitment to try to be the first country to eradicate HIV in the world. And so we have now looked at whether we can become once again the world leader. The Bahamas was once the world leader in uh, vertical transmission or mother to child transmission of HIV. We kind of lost some ground. We now believe that with modifying our approach to HIV, uh, to make sure that everybody is tested, to make sure that everybody that is tested has access to therapy and that the therapy suppresses the virus, that by uh, certainly 2030, we believe that the Bahamas, if not the first country, certainly among the first countries to eliminate HIV as a scourge. Dr. Sands also noted that most of the HIV medication is manufactured in Grand Bahama and health officials plan to work more closely with the distributor Gilead. Certainly a major component of the HIV therapies is manufactured right here in the Bahamas. Uh, that company has expressed a willingness to partner with us in our fight. And so uh, we have revised our approach to the management of HIV, resistant HIV. Uh, we have modified the, the plan for testing patients and we're going to start rolling out a pilot program to uh, do universal testing. It's voluntary, obviously, but once you know your status, then that's the best way to avail yourself of treatment.